smile. No, literally, smile. What's up, everybody? I'm Timothy Allen Milam Jr. You're watching Milam Asylum. Anyway, the film Smile. What good things can I say about it? What bad things can I say about it? Let's start with the good. Uh, special effects. Pretty good. Um, they, they did a good job with the special effects. Cat, stop. What's my lizard doing? Better not be trying to take a poo. I'm watching you. Um, special effects. Um, some of the jump scares, there was only a few. Um, that's it that I can think of. Um, so let's let's go into the negative side of it. Number one. I bought the movie so I could give this review. Now, I do alcohol reviews for those of you who don't know. Now, at least if I have shitty alcohol, I can at least still drink it and wash away my sorrows of purchasing shitty alcohol, right? When you buy a movie, you don't get any luxury. You're just out money. You can't even, like, utilize that as anything else really that could benefit you right anyway so twenty dollars on voodoo to rent smile now smile is exactly it follows and truth to dare now I, I can't really spoil any of the film for you because if you watched any trailers you've seen the entire film like you don't need to watch the film anymore you know what I mean? I, however, didn't watch the trailers. I, I try not to do that at all. Um, because um, almost every trailer that I have watched shows the entire film every time, right? Right? This is, this is Feral. Got him, got him from the wild. Meow, 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 meow. Huh. Huh. Oh, say hi, Feral. Hello. Hello, I'm Feral. Yes, you are. Keeps trying to attack my phone cord. Hey, leave it alone. Leave it alone. See? Phone's moving. Cat. <laughs> Little bastard. His dad ran away from him. Left him, left his mom alone with a bunch of at least six kittens. What's wrong, with these, what's wrong with these fathers these days? Um, so. Anyways. That, this is what it is. It's truth or dare. With the smiling faces. And then, um. The after effects are exactly the same. With the smile. And what follows after. And then it follows. Now, I'm not really going to spoil either of those films either, but in All Follows, the way that this thing spreads is exactly the way this thing spreads. Um, except for the explicit actual content. Um, but it spreads pretty much the exact same way. You got to give it to somebody else. Um... Now, they don't talk about this, but I'm going to bring it up. So, no spoilers here. So, if you contract this um, thing and you have to give it to somebody else, but the weirdest thing about it, the, the only difference in it follows um, is you have to consciously give it to somebody else knowing so you can continue to survive um, 
in this, the, whatever it is, um, it has a different aspect. So I don't like that part of it in and of itself because it it it, it serves as irrelevant. Like you have this thing haunting you. Um, so it can kill you, but it serves no relevance because you're not left with a choice at the end. It, it doesn't make any sense. Um, once you watch the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now it's 20 bucks to buy the damn thing. I can't find it to rent. And if you guys are one of those people that like to steal movies, um, and you can watch it for free. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but as far as the score goes, my friend gave it an 8 because she thought the story just was garbage. And obviously it's a copy of movie. Um, and she was being nice. She was being nice. Now her and I, we agree on a lot of films. Sometimes... Our scores are completely different, and depending on uh, the genre. Like, I love, 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 love stories. Romantic comedies, um, roman romance, romantic dramas. I love all that shit. She, however, is biased and hates that kind of stuff, so it's hard for her to, to enjoy a film that's all lovey-dovey and um, rainbows and... Unicorn? I don't know. Whatever the lovey thing is. Thing changes so many times. Anyways. Your beard's all weird. Your beard is weird! <laughs> In this case, yes. It looks a lot better. I need to shave. Anyways. Um, so she gave it an 8. And then like, uh, like the movie Crabs. She loved it. She gave it an... She gave it like a 9.5. Five, I believe, something like that, where I give it a 6.7 or 8 or something like that. Anyways, um, smile. Okay, I will say I enjoy it, but Sosi Bacon, Kevin Bacon, and, oh, what is her name? Kevin Bacon's wife, their daughter, Sosie Bacon, she's the star of this film, and she just, it was hard to watch on screen, I just can't handle her face, the entire film, I'm just like, so annoyed that I have to look at this girl for an hour and a half, like, <laughs> um, so, that kind of ruins the film for me, but, that's not that's not even why I didn't like the film. Um, it, it it was just too much of the obvious story. It was traditional. The she's dating someone. He doesn't believe her. It drives her to go to her ex, who does believe her, or or another person who believes in her, and develops some kind of a thing on that end. Um, it's a, it's a, it's the same old formula, um, not to mention it's, it's copies ex two other films exactly, like pretty much exactly two other films. Anyways, I'm rambling on. You guys just want to know the fucking score. Uh, yeah, yep, six point seven. Anyways, that's your review. I'm Timothy Online Jr. And until next time. <laughs>